Right, good morning everyone. Sorry about the hair. <laughs> uh, I've got some, I'll show you this book. It's called The Artful Ribbon by Candice Kling. K-L-I-N-G. So you can see that. And it's all on the Victorian um, ribbons. I've shown you this book before, but I thought I'll go through it again because if you can get hold of it, try and get it because it'll be a fantastic way for you to um, learn how to do all the old fashioned ones. Although I'm teaching you and showing you step by step, I'm a visual learner, so I would need somebody like me to show me. But I bought this because I'm quite good at, I can look at something and like a knitting pattern and I can, I don't read the pattern, can't read them. Uh, I can just get on and do the, like a cable stitch or something like that. I only have to look at it and I can do it. So I'm a, a visual person, but in this one, I look at the flowers and I know how to do it. And the diagrams in here are quite good. So I do advise you to get this book if you can. Hope you can see it. So I'm going to show you some of that. Um, I've just popped all these onto the store. So if you want them, they're there on the store. Go and grab them. Now, I'm just going to clear out the way because I've got another flower and I'll be back. Right, so this is the book, The Artful Ribbon. And as you can see, the flowers they used to make back then, it, and the colour has a lot to do with the style of uh, and the way they look. Because they used colours, um, I'm not sure how they, well obviously they dyed their ribbons and things like that. But just the way they put them together, you know, and to make little cluster things. So we're going to do something like this. So I'm just going to show you the inside of this book. I mean, look at these flowers. They can do for wedding dresses or anything. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. <clears throat> uh, look at that one. That's how I showed you to do that. And instead of doing the edge, you bring it in a, a centimetre and then you get that look. Which is this one. So if I'd have brought that in a centimetre, I would have got that flower. Yeah, you can do petals, then put the petals together. Which we'll be doing one today. But even down to these. They're just beautiful. And, you know, I've got other ribbons we can use. I just love the way they put things together. I mean, look at that, done with flowers. These are all different flowers, and then that's just the feather ostrich feather but it does show you really good um, ways of how they've done them I mean look at that for a bag they're absolutely stunning and there's lots and lots and lots of flowers in here to learn how to make I know the last time I shared this with uh, people they did go out and buy them and uh, some people went out and bought the books and they wrote and told me and said that it's the best thing they've ever bought. It's, you know, like just doing a ruffle like this. I just think it's fantastic. And a, a, a leaf, that leaf like that, which I've shown you how to do that. I've done many of these projects in here. I like the diagrams because they do show you how to do them, you know, to make the uh, petals like these. This is this one and it's fantastic a really nice book how to do this leaf very simple when you think about it very simple it's a broad uh, ribbon you fold it in half you stitch it you trim it or you can uh, fold it over that's that's what they've done and you end up with that leaf very 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 simple but brilliant way to make a leaf. And instead of having the plain, oh, it's like that one. So, yeah, I absolutely love checking this book out. And, uh, I mean, these are little buds. Look, they're just little buds. And it shows you, you do that with the ribbon. So you're making a cylinder. You stitch one end up top first and then you stitch the bottom end up when you've stuffed it. And then you can put a little, you know, crochet something or put a bit of lace on the ends. We might do one of those today. So, yeah, a great book. So, 
what I'm going to do today is I've got these. These were earrings and I've now cut them and I'm going to use them in this particular flower. I did a couple more of these in case I need them. There's another one there. Right, so for this particular flower, this is what you're going to need. Uh, these measure, <coughs> excuse me, um, three inches wide. And you seal them off at the ends using your flame. You fold them down. You can pin them if you want, so if it's helpful to you, I don't bother. And then you just stitch them. So I've put one on. And I'm just going to join them all together. What I like about this taffeta ribbon is that it's got a different coloured edge so you can uh, make a really nice flower from it. And it does make a nice petal like that. So that's th uh, two. Just fold it over. All this is in the shop, this kind of ribbon. Uh, let's just fold that over. My hands don't want to work this morning. <laughs> Now you can do this three and five, <clears throat> which look really nice. In fact, I might just do that. What have we got there? We've got three. I'm just going to do that first. Right, so we'll go back to the beginning. And you just... Did I put that one on the right way? I didn't, did I? Never mind. Hang on. Oh, that's the one I didn't put on the right way, but hey-ho. <coughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, you do have to make sure they're all facing the right way. It doesn't matter about this particular one. I'm just showing you how to do this flower. So. So we'll have it that way. That'll do. So there's the first, the top layer. So first of all, we're just going to make sure that we've got that tacking stitch. You don't want it th the thread coming through the ribbon and undoing. Like that, that'll be fine, I think. And then we just separate the, um, well, make the ruffles as even as possible. This is the ruffle. The fold is the ruffle, for those of you who don't know. That's that. And then what I'm going to do is then pop a bit of glue on there. Then we're going to take this one, which is the top one, move that, pop that onto there. See, that gives you that beautiful ruffle flower. Turn it over 
just put the needle in there so I don't lose it. So I know what I'm like. I'm going to take some felt just for the backing. Um, that'll do, I think. Cut a circle. I'm going to have to sort out a new glue gun. Right. Pop that on the back. Like that. See, we can ruffle it up. Or keep as is. Now, I've done that on this one but to be honest that's wrong I'm going to take that off because on a vintage one you really should have um, see it glues so well I'm not taking it off <laughs> but I am going to use some of these um, one two three oh four Five, six. I generally use about six of these stamen. Put them together like that. Now I'm going to use my uh, flat nose pliers for this. And just uh, first of all, I just twist and then lay that flat like that. Glue the inside. like that and then what you do is you just pop that in there and you do that and you've got yourself a vintage flower I am going to take that off I never use a lot of glue but it doesn't have stick <laughs> and with metal it should come straight off it's coming off there we are. I don't want that on there because I don't. I mean, I prefer to do the stamen. Now, because I can't get into the hole of that one, what I'm going to do with this stamen is we'll just have to um, glue it on. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So what I'm going to do is to snip these. Get my pliers. Uh, I'm going to snip them that long on that end and the same on this end like that and I'll just have to pop them in in a group like that with a bit of glue so I'm going to try and melt this glue so if I put the hot um, tip in I should be able to pop all of them in there together and they're not going to come undone or anything like that like that that's fine so just put the tip in or the end of your glue gun like that there we go glue all over me and there's your flowers and you can ruffle them up a little bit the vintage flowers they're gorgeous aren't they really really pretty I loved them
just need to pull them out a little bit, spread them out. Yep. So as you can see, we've made two vintage flowers and they're absolutely gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do with this uh, pair is to add on a little clip. Right, so all I've done is I've just popped on the backing. The little clip. Like that, and then I've secured it on with the glue first, and then secured it on with a piece of felt. So I'll show you how I've done that with a next one. So open the clip, and you can see it's got like a little loop. Pop on the clip like that. I just put a little bit of glue up here, pop that through, and then cut that. Lift that up. Pop that on, and then we just trim that off as well. And that securely held that. And then you can faff about with these where you want them. These flowers are just, they're just stunning. Victorian flowers. I will be back with another video. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon.